Hello everybody and welcome back to Operation Moon Soccer. And I forgot to show you some tricks that my Ringo Gigante refueler station has up its sleeve. Mainly the cargo bays. Yes, those are all uh, the medium sized Mark III cargo bays and they are big enough to store those orange tanks inside them. So every compartment that you see could store up to one of those big storage tanks or two science labs or whatever you desire to put in there. Maybe some more ore canisters, maybe some, well, anything you can think of. But I also have some other things I would like to show you and those are the docking ports for ships arriving because those two big docking ports in the middle are designed to be used for attaching new stuff to the station. So I put some, some other docking ports on the outer ring, three uh, regular sized docking ports and three big sized docking ports. I did not bother with the really really tiny ones because yeah maybe I add another module to that. Thanks to the station being so flexible that would be possible and there are also some of those inline uh, standard docking ports, those Mark II ones in spokes as you may have seen. And yeah, that's about it for the Ringo Gigante refueler station for quite some time now, but we will get back to it in a later episode. But for now, it's time to launch the base, and I mean the entire refueling base that I would build on... Yeah, not today, apparently. What I wanted to say was, I wanted to shoot the entire thing that I wanted to build on Windows, everything I would need to build the base up in one big launch. I tried it once, I tried it twice, I tried it a lot of times and it failed miserably. So here you can see my second attempt. Those huge fairings they are housing, well you going to see what they will house as soon as we get this into space, but that won't happen this time. As you can see everything is wobbling and then it is exploding. And then it is falling. And then it is exploding again. But for now it's just exploding. You know what's interesting, those new explosion effects they added in uh, version 090, they're sort of two-dimensional those explosions just go out in a ring, you know, like that explosion of the Death Star in the special edition of Star Wars. Yeah, I was always wondering about that. Look at that! Parts of base in a giant jar and it explodes. So well, yeah, I decided to make two launches. So this is the first one and we're already uh, good on the way ready for stage separation. This has been a tricky build. You may uh, have noticed already that the fuel tanks are curiously segmented and that is for a very special reason which we will get back to later. For now we have to get this into orbit. Of course this entire video is heavily edited because it took me quite some time to get where I wanted to and I did not want to bother you with hours of me trying and shooting stuff into space and maneuver node editing and so on. So we're circularizing, there you go, almost finished. Thankfully the rocket stayed intact and now the camera wobbling shows us that we have managed to circularize so to speak. And then we're going to set our maneuver node and go to Minmus. But uh, we also have some other stuff we will need for building the base. And this is it. This is the second vehicle I'm shooting up there. And it carries the second part that was on top of the very first contraption I built and <laughs> that failed, of course. So this is going to Minmus as well. 
everything in this video series is going to minimus. This may be boring for some of you guys who would like to see another celestial body, but besides of Kermin, uh, Kermin? Kerbin. And uh, Minmus, you won't see any other planet or moon in this series. Sorry. Well, maybe later. Not sure about it. I'm not finished yet with recording everything. So here we already are in the sphere of influence of Minmus. And we're circularizing. And then we are getting our rendezvous. And then we meet up with the other stuff. So now it's time, well almost time, to get rid of those huge fairings. Honestly, I just kept them on to keep you curious and guessing what is inside. I could have ditched them, of course, a lot sooner. And BOOM! There we go. These bad boys are my cranes. And what do you need cranes for? You need cranes to build stuff. Yes, this is my building equipment. I'm going to use these two things to build my base on Minmus. And the materials they are using are, of course, in the other vehicle that we are going to rendezvous with here. Setting up the node. Then we have to brake, well, adjust our velocity rather. There is no real braking in space because you don't have any friction. There we go, still got the fairing on the other stuff. Closing in. And now we're flying our big Kerberdyne engine, which is called Rhino, since the 1.0 update. So, fine tuning with the RCS. And then we are in sync. Decoupling and opening the fairing. Look at that! Now we're going to ditch the engine, engines, yes, just the engines, because I want to use the fuel tanks. You may have noticed those fuel tanks do have landing legs on them, and I'm going to use them as material for my base. So yeah, I'm going to bring them down to Minmus, and they are going to be connected to the refinery parts, and then they are going to be used as fuel storage. So I'm getting this uh, crane and the other crane uh, later on of course to the other stuff and then I'm going to dock them on the bottom uh, for the time being because in order to do what we want to do we have to know where we are going to build our base. And how do you know where you're gonna build your base? Of course you build them, build it where you have the best uh, amount of resources. And in order to do that, or in order to know that, we need a resource satellite. And this is going to be it. Sending it up right now, probably a very inefficient launch because I'm using the huge Kerberdyne parts with a tiny payload and it's probably over-engineered. Yeah, it is over-engineered, but I just wanted to get it up quickly. And there it is, my resource satellite, uh, not only with the big scanner, but also with that uh, hexagon thingy that uh, makes some more precise measurements. Now setting a polar uh, orbit about Minmus, doing the transfer burn. Of course the further you're away from your target, the less delta V you're going to need to adjust your orbit at your destination. We have huge amounts of fuel left. So yeah, this was really over-engineered, but we get a beautiful polar orbit around Minmus. Then it is time to ditch the fuel and start the scanning. Yeah, 
we want to know where we want to build a base and that's why we need to know where uh, Kerbin's resources or well, Kerbin Minmus's resources are. And I really like this view, which uh, sort of is a heat map that shows you the highest concentration. Apparently there is nothing. And the red parts are the ones where the most ore is to be found. And of course I'm looking for a flat space with a lot of ore. And it looks like this is a winner. Yep, we're going to build our base there. So, back to the action. We are now having the second crane uh, able to dock with the rest of the base. So everything you're seeing here, this are all the parts of my base. They're just rearranged now. And I've used, of course, the spare fuel tanks for the rocket. Why waste some fuel if you can use it? And now, after we have docked this, of course, I'm not going to use this la crane at first because it has a claw attached and that claw is needed for one very special item that I'm going to ship downwards. So we are attached and then it is time to detach our first part. We're going to use three refinery parts with some docking ports as the core elements of this station. And of course the crane will be the one delivering it. You may ask why Minmus and not the moon. Of course Minmus has a very low gravity so it is easy to get stuff on the surface and get it back up into orbit so the most efficient refinery uh, would be rather on Minmus and not on the moon. See uh, me using the docking alignment indicator mod which is one I really like and I have been using since well a year maybe more I don't know I don't remember I've been used I've been using it a lot especially for if you remember my huge uh, giant hexagon ring st refueling station that I built uh, a lot of time back in the past so here we are closing in on our refinery part turning around so of course we got the correct docking port and can descend in a viable manner boom we're docked now it's time to get down to the surface so setting up a new maneuver node so we are gonna have to incline our orbit quite a lot to get where we want to but that's no problem we got enough delta v left in those big uh, 1.25 meter tanks of course this crane is designed so that it can take a full uh, Kerberdyne 720 whatever uh, one of those tanks that I have attached on the main vehicle uh, with a full tank uh, down not not down but up from Minmus into orbit so some minor adjustments of course I forgot that since Minmus is rotating that when I set an orbit to a certain point then of course as soon as I get there the orbit will be somewhere else or will end somewhere else because Minmus has moved in the meantime so maybe if you know if there is a mod there that uh, enables you to set maneuver nodes on a certain target on the floor that um, takes the planetary uh, rotation into account that would be really great if you know of such a thing please let me know in the comments and we're coming down way too fast way too fast and yep well at least the crane survived the refinery didn't uh yeah well it was the first attempt and so we used the magic of quick saving or quick loading in this case rather and then it looks a lot better 
We're going down, 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 down. Closing in on the surface. On that big, 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 big green flat surface of Minmus. Which some Kerbals believe to be ice cream. Of course, due to a lack of oxygen, no Kerbal ever has managed to taste Minmus. But some have brought back some samples to Kerbin. However, they were not as tasty as they had hoped and some Kerbals may have died due to some toxic complications. We don't know yet. Kerbals are not very well versed in the medical profession. They prefer piloting, engineering and sciencing. So we have delivered our first part and my crane is getting back into orbit and we're going to repeat a lot of those pickup and uh, uh, delivery maneuvers so setting up a maneuver node to circularize our orbit around Minmus and then we're going to rendezvous with the rest of the base in orbit the base in space and then we're going to repeat that until our base is finished that's it for now thanks for watching goodbye